हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज प्रोफेसर ए सी जाधव डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर के के वा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नासिक अंडर द कोर्स ऑफ हॉट थ्री फाइव फोर द टूडेज इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इज अ वैल्यू एडिशन इन ऑर्नामेंटल क्रॉप्स और वैल्यू एडिशन इन अ फ्लोरिकल्चरल क्रॉप्स गाइज दिस वीडियो इज ओनली फॉर एजुकेशनल पर्पज एंड नॉट फॉर एनी ऑफ द कमर्शियल यूज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज मीन बाय वैल्यू एडिशन वैल्यू एडिशन मीन्स गेटिंग द मोर फॉर वॉट यू ऑलरेडी हैव दैट इज द वैल्यू एडिशन द शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ वैल्यू एडिशन वैल्यू एडिशन इज अ प्रोसेस इन विच फॉर अ सेम वॉल्यूम ऑफ प्राइमरी प्रोडक्ट अ हाई प्राइज इज रियलाइज बाय मीन्स ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग पैकिंग अपग्रेडिंग द क्वालिटी upgrading the quality or other such methods value added floriculture refer most generally to manufacturing process that increase the value of primary commodities value added floriculture may also refer to increasing the economic value of commodity particularly production process for example organic produce or through a regionally branded products that increases the consumer appeal and willingness to pay a premium over similar but differentiated product area of value added floriculture so from the floriculture the most impor- important type of the product which we prepared or which is worldwide that is the essential oil extraction so most of the flowers like the tube rose rose jasmine and many others are mainly used for the extraction of the essential oil which has a great value in perfume industry then in a flavoring industry then in a soap industry and other type of the cosmetic industry so as a cut flower production for occasion and for flower forcing we use the flower in the form of a fresh or in a form of the dried form third one that is live plant or the potted plant there is a great demand for the live plant and the potted plant for indoor outdoor decoration for the ceremony and the other uses not only the whole plant but the foliage or its other plant part again has a great value we prepared the many of article or the handicraft by using such type of the foliage or the plant parts so it may be used as a fresh as a dried one and also in the form of the potpourri simply which make the marvelous beauty or the marvelous piece of our indoor beauty then the first practice which uh, we can adopt for value addition of of uh, floricultural crops or the flower that is the dry flowers dry flowers uh, means dried or dehydration flowers or the plant part or botanicals it may be the root leaves stem bark or the whole plant or the flowers that can be used for the ornament ornamental purposes so dried flower are also known as everlasting flower and the dehydrated flowers economical importance the dried flower industry is near about uh, 100 crores industry in india and such dry decorative material are globally accepted as a natural eco friendly long lasting and inexpensive india is one of the major exporter of the dried flowers to the turn of 5% world trade in a dry flowers this industry is growing at 15% annual growth rate easy and year around availability of the wide range of the raw material from forest and the availability of the manpower from the uh, labor intensive craft making are a reason for the development of the dry flower industry in india this industry provides the direct employment to around near 15000 people and indirect employment to around 60000 people so such type of the beautiful craft we prepared by using the dry type of the uh, flower the indian dried flower export market is classified into the four main product segments which we will uh, we will discuss below 
the first one it is the dried flowers and the plant part in a bulk so as a loose forms we will uh, use this plant part and second as a potpourri so in such uh, attractive arrangement also we use the dried flower then third one is a arrangement so by making the attractive arrangement of the dried ones it is again the piece of indoor decoration and the floral handicaps so by uh, using such type of the dried flowers we make the attractive handicraft articles so tips for the collecting the plant material particularly for the drying purpose or for the flower uh, drying first one avoid the collecting the plant when they are the wet or the moist for the dews because it may not uh, uh, properly dried or may be decay during the drying practice use a sharp knife or the pruning shear to cut the flower and plant material select the plant material that are without infection and without disease problem plant uh, stem in a water uh, while harvesting to prevent the wilting some flowers may hold color better if allowed to stand in the water for a few hours so we have a need to maintain the same type of the form in a dried condition also start the drying process as soon as possible after the cutting which can um, helpful to avoid the uh, direct wilting and the drying then the dry flower making under the uh, drying practice there is a first initial or the simple method that is air drying air drying simply we can hang this type of the uh, used flowers or the flower stems then sun drying so by the solar heat we may dry the planting material then oven drying by using the microwave we can dry the flowers then embedding methods in which again the microwave drying uh, in a embedding method mainly we can use the silica gel or a sand like a material which absorb the moisture content from the flower and uh, by using these type of the techniques we can retain the as it is color form of the fresh flower in a dried condition too and these are again uh, attractive piece for the arrangement and the next one that is the microwave drying through the microwave also we can follow the drying practice of many of the useful and the um, high graded type of the flower then we can use the glycerin for the drying the practice which uh, follow that is the glycerinizing so here there is a absorption of the moisture by the highly concentrated glycerin from the plant tissues and the tissues become dried freeze drying so during the uh, freeze drying practice it is one of the expensive practice but the quality which we can obtain it is considered to be the excellent one in a dried form so most of the roses and other type of the high graded flower are dried by using the freeze drying technique press drying press drying it is again the simple technique we use the wooden press or uh, stone press and for uh, through the uh, uh, press technique the plant material which we can uh, obtain it they are used for beautiful uh, arrangement or the preparation of the handicraft and the other work then second one the is a uh, bleaching many times so we uh, found that some of the white colored or the bleach flowers uh, are useful for the preparation of the attractive arrangement so the bleach ornament plant material provides striking contrast when arranged with the dried or the dyed flowers so the bleaching practice is again important one bleaching also allow the use of the dyes for coloring in a bleaching same way we use the coloring practice 
because in many times uh, we observe that during the drying techniques the color may be the fade so enrichment of the uh, color through the dyes it can be possible so for the bleaching sodium chloride 10% is excellent bleaching agent because it is relatively selective for the lignin without damaging the fiber it is um, gives the good result then optimum ph uh, 4.5 to 3.5 and the temperature 70 degrees celsius is to be maintained for the effective chloride action and we obtain the good effect then the dyeing as we already said that uh, the dyeing can uh, enrich the color of the dried uh, plant part so some plant part need the artificial dyes to improve its uh, appearance to improve its color so acidic uh, anionic dyes we can use 1.5 ml to 5 ml dyes per liter of the solution are prepared for dyeing the flower color take uh, or uh, preservations will take the two or the three days then uh, floral uh, pattern which we can make by using the flower this is again one of the value additions through which we prepare the attractive type of the floral rangolis on a menu of the auspicious occasions functions gatherings then religious festivals so we do this type of the practice and this is the great value of the flowers then we prepared the different types of the bouquet the floral uh, bouquet or the flower bouquet is a collection of the flower in a creative arrangement so on that basis there are the types Uh, of uh, bouquet also in a bouquet we use the uh, three types of the flower one is the uh, line flower other is a mass flower and third one is a uh, fillers uh, flowers line flowers are the tall and give the bouquet height width and the balanced look the branches and the tall foliage can be serve as a line for a flower and that's why it can called as a line flower for example the long stalk containing flower like a gladiolus tuberose mass flower which gives the bouquet the wet or the mass for example the use of the rose carnation gerbera these are the mass flower category and the filler so which again gives the mass volume to the bouquet and which fill up the blank spaces within the bouquets so we use the different types of the grasses eucalyptus leaves then ferns asparagus etc then the types of the bouquets there are the many types uh, of a bouquet as per the occasion ceremony uh, we will use first one is a posy which are mostly round in a shape or the round type of the bouquet it is known as a posy type of the bouquet then the crescent bouquet so it can be symmetrical or the asymmetrical in a nature then uh, arm bouquet which is uh, simply uh, hold in a single arm that is the arm bouquet then uh, next one that is the uh, free form or a contemporary type of the bouquet which is uh, not have a specific or definite type of the shape uh, then the single stem bouquet as we shown in a finger uh, a figure that a uh, simply a single flowers are arranged in a bouquet then uh, pomander type of the bouquet a ball of the flower carried by a ribbon attached to it that is the pomander type of the bouquet then the casket bouquet uh, a fountain of waterfall uh, like uh, streamy appearance has this bouquet and the uh, taper downwards with a uh, flowering foliage or the ribbons uh, at the bottom that is this is again the attractive feature of this type of the bouquet so this is about the uh, value additions uh, category or the value addition of the flower in which the majorly uh, we can extend the life of the flower by drying them and in a drying we studied the different types of the technique which we can adopt so thank you thank you very much